Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Bear friendly idiots, Vaughn. Entertainer, trainer, eclectic entertainer. It's your boy, Mikey Henley. Sick kid for sick kids. Live on location, planet Earth. Last time I checked, although it's the twilight zone maybe, you might think you're in the outer limits. Do not attempt to adjust your social media for I am controlling all that you see and hear for this broadcast, this next episode, the Corona Chronicles, this episode, it cleans shh. So again, walking around and doing all that I am doing for this and trying to be above and beyond the WHO, CDC, and such protocols and standards of dealing with a crisis and pandemic situation while still trying to legitimately, certifiedly, accreditedly help we the people, my fellow humans here that cannot nor go out to get and risk supplies and stuff for uh, sicknesses and uh, such. So I go out and take on the burden and such, being a young, healthy male with the proper safety and survival skills and essential to do so. In saying that, as I walk around in my Sick Kids for Sick Kids prototype Mach 1 bat suit, the whole time that I have been doing these rounds and in my vehicle and such, I have a vast plethora, if you will, of cleaning supplies and disinfectants, all fully certified and accredited by multiple organizations and such to keep myself clean and healthy for you we the people while out doing this and in saying that i feel at this point much like the opposite of peg pen do you remember peg pen from charlie brown the peanuts peg pen the kid that walked around and, I and had the big old all around him like the big dust and stuff in the dirt do you remember that guy i feel like his opposite because i'm walking around with a quaff around me of disinfectants and and all aerosol and cleaning supplies and stuff. I feel like instead of me walking past you and you getting sickness, I'm going to clean you. I'm like, Jesus, that is one sick joke. You're welcome. Anyways, and saying that, at what point in doing this and all that we are doing and such, do you stop becoming sane and safe? and doing proper things that you can and going above what not, at what point do you go insane and live in a bubble? Bubbles! Live in the bubbles! Live in the bubbles! Bubbles! Again, at what point are you doing that? Again, we're going past things here, people, so just be clean. You know, use your sanitizers and stuff, your, your sprays. I'm gonna show you about this when we talked about that. Today's episode is, it cleans, shh. And that's what you have here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my Mikey Henley Sick Kids for Sick Kids special sanitizing, completely certifiedly clean antiseptic that is surgical. You could use this thing. And where did I learn to get this and make this special recipe? Back in Beavers. Yeah, when I was like six years old, one of our safety and survival skills while we were out and stuff for our bags and that was to learn how to make our own legitimate safety sanitizing disinfectants for while we were out on our excursions and camping and again we had the basic protocols to work with the safety registered ones that you would add to your own special creation because it became that when we got to add our own you know maybe some pine needles dried up and crushed up a little powder and you mix it in maybe that's part of this recipe maybe it's not again it cleans shh when we were in beavers, we all made our own little recipes going off the basic fundamentals and then got to add our own special and unique ingredients to our products. This has been mine. So again, with all the other vast plethora of disinfectants and such that I am using, this one for the majority of the time while I'm out has been going on with my gloves, my goggles, and, so, and again, while I'm saying that, Listen here, people, many of you who are out and wearing masks and gloves and such, you are completely fucking up the purpose and the point of wearing all of this stuff. Many of you don't even know what you're doing with it. Again, I am an accredited, 
first aid, first responder, safety, all that, blah, blah, blah. Go look at and watch that episode. We're not going back into that. Anyways, what I'm saying is many of you who are going through and doing, wearing your gloves and your masks and your glasses and such, walk around and you are touching all this stuff and that, and then your faces, have you cleaned or disinfect or, you know, have you even, that's what I do when I'm touching, even when I touch something else, because again, I'm going above and beyond your requests to keep to a safe protocol for we the people so we can get through this but yeah do you do that no probably not what are you doing you're wearing them once maybe twice and then you're taking them off incorrectly and you're throwing them the fuck on the ground i've seen it enough you sick disgusting degenerate fucks out there who are throwing your gloves and your masks, taking them off and throwing them on the ground, you pieces of shit. If I see you doing it, if anybody else sees you, I hope you get fucking clapped upside the head, okay? You're spreading it worse than we are, you motherfuckers. We're eco ninjas. Learn how to be clean and clean up after yourselves, you fucking morons. Again, logic, common sense. Fuck, another point to this that I would like to make is, if you are going to use sanitary devices and things, please, Get a regular cloth, like a cloth that you can clean with soap and disinfectants in a tub. Remember that? Like the old days? Instead of buying all these fucking new products that you throw out into the garbage and into our fucking, and you flush them down the toilets? Stop doing that too, you fucking morons. Do you even understand what that does to the goddamn sewage system? Oh my God, I think I'm taking crazy pills. Fuck, where's your logic and common sense? So again, you can have a rag and use that thing and clean it and disinfect it. Remember that? Here's something logical to think about. Just because it's dirty doesn't mean it's diseased. Remember that fucking concept? Or have you forgotten that? Oh, do you have a stain on something that you're wearing? Is it stained right now? Oh, guess what? It's sick. You fucking dolt. Does that make sense? Even if you cleaned it, oh, it's got a stain. It's dirty. It must be diseased. Common sense and logic, you fucking morons. I'm trying to get... Okay. And I, I want to throw another point out here for people losing their minds about all this sickness and shit. Think about all the people being social pariah right now because they have allergies or a fucking cold. God forbid you have allergies or a fucking cold right now. You're a goddamn plague. Again, I don't give a fuck if you sneeze or if you've got teary eyes or runny nose or if you cough. I don't give a fuck. That's what we do as human beings. You fucking idiots. Just learn how to do it properly. Again, remember the episode Mikey taught you already? Here, let me let me, let me show you. I'm gonna get my zipper down here on the bat suit. That's another prototype. We'll maybe work that out. Remember this one? <laughs> down the shirt. Remember that? And then the whole it cleans shit. Again, common sense and fucking logic. It cleans shh. Another episode of the Corona Chronicles. I am Mikey Henley. Sick kids for sick kids. Peace be your journey. I'm out.